Well, this weekend, when we went through our first lake effect snow event of the season. So let's take a look at some of the snowfall totals that have came in from the Weather Service. Look at this Colden in the Boston Hills in Southern Erie County, 17.6 inches. Perrysburg in Cattaraugus County, 13.8. Northeast in Pennsylvania, 13.5. Uh, Forestville, 11.5. Casadega, 5.3. And this actually outdid the computer models. We were not expecting this amount of snow. We were expecting somewhere around the range of 9 inches, but that just goes to show lake effect can throw some very interesting surprises at you sometimes. Jamestown officially two and a half. And look at Warren, only a tenth of an inch of snowfall. So you can see where that lake effect band set up and we've got more snow on the way. So we want to give you the first defense on what's going to be coming our way tonight. So there's going to be a storm system passing just to our south in Pennsylvania. What that's going to do is bring a rain snow mix, which will ultimately change over the all snow as we go throughout uh, the, um, the uh, overnight hours. And a slushy accumulation is possible here with the highest amounts on the hill. So let's show that to you here on Future Scan. Today, nothing nice and dry. You can see the edge of that storm system coming up out of the east it'll spread from south to north and then the snow will start to overspread the region now the good news here is it's going to be wet it's not going to be that thick snow but it will accumulate and a slushy accumulation is possible out of this the system backs away uh, 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 tomorrow and uh, we'll be left with a few scattered snow showers throughout the day on tomorrow and especially tomorrow evening so how much snow are we going to add on top of what we've already seen uh, the models are pinpointing about one to two inches of slushy accumulation of course once you work out to the east you'll be closer to that storm center so you'll see uh, probably about two to three inches out there but i think for the westernmost counties everybody should see about one to two and less once you work northward so temperatures today will top out in the 40s right along the lake area shoreline clouds is the story throughout the day really no peaks of sunshine throughout the day so it's going to be cloudy and of course those clouds will help keep the temperatures down inland as well so struggling to hit 40 so tomorrow 34 degrees uh, with that system coming our way look at wednesday 27 a low of 15 this would be the first time this year we've seen temperatures down into the teens uh, for uh, morning lows temperatures don't recover at all we're still stuck into the 30s and temperatures go back down into the 20s for next weekend with more snow on the way